Julie, start by just telling us what Immigrant Families Together does. Well, I have to start by saying that WMYC was actually responsible for Immigrant Families Together because it was after I heard a segment with Beth Furtick back in June in which she was interviewing um, a lawyer here in New York called Jose Horochena who was representing an immigrant mom who was affected by zero tolerance. She was in detention in Eloy, Arizona, and her this kids were Jenny here. This was Jenny Gonzalez, yep, right? Jenny yep. Gonzalez Garcia, yeah. uh-huh. Um, and her kids were here in New York. And when I heard that, I thought, this is our entry point where we can, um, my husband and I, can reach out to the people who say they're so angry about zero tolerance and say, let's all put our money um, where our mouths are and let's spring this woman out of detention. Let's get her here. Let's get her back with her kids. And let's also, most importantly, stick with her through the whole process because um, the folks that are in detention are not able to support themselves economically. So the plan was to do that once. Um, as of today, we've done that 53 times. We've raised a million dollars. And this is raising money for bond, right? To bond right. people out. Right, so we've raised a million dollars, fully half of which has gone to the bonds for these 53 family members. And then the other half has almost entirely been spent on um, supporting the families. So um, in addition to these 53 families, we also picked up dozens of families after the family reunification deadline at the end of July, and we continue to provide them with everything from legal um, counsel, medical support. I have to say here in New York, we have amazing pro bono partners, NYU Dental Clinic and Tribeca Pediatrics both see all of our families for free, so please support them. Um, and yeah, we just try to stick with them for the long haul. Julie, I'm asking you this because you're a fairly new group. As, mm -hmm. you, as you said, you just formed. <laughs> yep. um, do you have any tips or advice for other people who are new to the organizing game, trying to get something off the ground? Um, yeah, I think really to not sit around and wait until you have all the things that you think that you need to have in place. We didn't have money in place. Um, I'm a former social worker, but I didn't necessarily have experience running a group or organization. Um, I think it's just really about relying on your network of people and um, accepting who shows up to help and welcoming them and finding a place for them to be part of your, your effort. How can people here support you? So a lot of different ways. Um, you can go to immigrantfamiliestogether.com and you can go to our donate page if you want to donate money because supporting a number of families is not a cheap proposition. Um, but also, we welcome New York area volunteers. Um, we have uh, folks all over the country working. We've um, relocated families everywhere from California to Texas and Florida, Des Moines, Iowa. We really have folks all over the country. Are you um, looking for people specifically with an expertise in immigration law or anything? No, or? not at all. Okay. Um, the mayor's office, I have to say, has been amazing about providing pro bono counsel to all of the families that we have here. So we're really looking for anybody who wants to just be involved with a family, helping out, going to appointments. Um, yeah, anything. If you're a realtor and you have housing or a, a property owner and you have housing, I would love to talk to you. Find Julie. She's <laughs> Find in the back. <laughs> she has this table in the back. Thank you so yeah. much. Sure, thank you. Appreciate it.